Well, welcome back to Actionable Intelligence. I'm Eric Greitens. Tonight is a big and in many ways unfortunate night in the history of the American Republic. We're seeing violence in the Capitol, violence around the Capitol. And at this moment, the Capitol is under curfew. And violence and anarchy of any kind tear away at the fabric of our republic. An election is being certified which two-thirds of the citizens of one of America's two major political parties think is illegitimate. There exist strong and unanswered questions about statistically impossible election results, unanswered questions about video of boxes of votes being pulled out and counted in the middle of the night. There's been no response to the hundreds of affidavits of American citizens who have sworn to voter fraud. The mainstream media have simply ignored these stories, and today their credibility has been shattered. Big tech, meanwhile, dropped even the appearance of neutrality before the election and blatantly censored coverage of important stories like corruption in the Biden family. We have a political class that has completely lost touch with the people that they are supposed to represent. The political establishment, in the view of many Americans, is a self-feeding, self-referential system of politicians and lobbyists who enrich themselves and their families, all while sneering at you. Millions of Americans have lost their jobs, millions of small businesses have been closed, all by a scoffing political class that now does not even attempt to justify their policies. They've acted as autocrats and authoritarians, they scold and condemn you, all while feasting themselves and following their own rules. They won't send relief to Americans who are struggling, but their spouses and children enrich themselves at the table of lobbyists. The left has waged in many ways, we've seen, a full-scale war on the law. When your cities were looted, Soros-funded prosecutors let looters loose. They refused to prosecute arson and assault, when people engaged peacefully in prayer were beaten and assaulted, the left's prosecutors looked away. Murders now happen in America's cities and there are no trials, no charges. I've talked with some of these families and they have almost no hope for justice for many of them. Leftists focus instead on harassing the police. For months, Americans witnessed exploding violence in cities. They watched assaults against officers, arson against businesses, and the left pretended that this was somehow normal or okay. Meanwhile, families trying to fly on airplanes were kicked off when two-year-olds wouldn't wear masks. And big companies pretended the whole time that they were being rational. They pretended that a 23-month-old child without a mask was okay, that an adult eating in a seat was okay, but that a 24-month-old child was a biohazard. Public health officials admonished people not to buy masks, then screamed at them to wear them. The republic our founders intended was rooted in reason. It was rooted in equality before the law and the idea of God-given liberty. Every irrational policy, every political prosecution, every lie, every voice that is censored, every liberty that is stolen, all of this tears away at the foundations of our country. Violence and anarchy and lawlessness, they tear away at the republic. And tonight we're seeing it in and around the Capitol. The fall of the Roman Republic was a gradual process. It involved violence in the Forum, their capital. It involved disputed elections. It involved political prosecutions and a gradual unraveling. So what can we do? Well, we can revive the Republic, but it will have to be done by citizens, by strong, courageous citizens who are willing to revive and rebuild. America's political establishment has failed in many ways. They embody elitism, and a mad, corrupt pursuit of personal profit over public purpose. Yet for the sake of our children, the Republic can and should be revived. Doing so is going to take faith and courage, strength and compassion, and a willingness of citizens to step forward boldly and with courage. 